Morning, sweetness. Did you get enough beauty sleep? What the hell are you? You're in a bit of a pickle, sunshine. Got a tip off from uh, a K. Mackenzie. Oh, Kadine! It's your nightmare, fool! <clears throat> you are, son. You've been racking up the debts. Oh, what? Oh, who? I see. Uh, mental anguish suffered to your mum for 15 hours of labour. The psychological toll your life has taken on the family. Food and board. Upkeep. Maintenance. Birthdays and Christmases. A mother's love. This is bullshit. Swearing, that's going on the list as no, well. Wait, well, this is not fair. Like, how? Not fair, right. Well, yeah. Fuck, Kadeen! Yeah, well, her day's best day is mine. Yeah. Every morning I used to wake up and thank the universe I survived to see another day on this beautiful planet. And now I'm reminded each morning that I still live with my parents. Oh, and I think I might have accidentally got engaged. Dang. <laughs> there he is. God, I beg of thee. Ah! No blasphemy, Dane. You're going to be getting married in a church, so don't bother taking the Lord's name in vain. Now move it and give your Auntie Barbara and Uncle Samuel a call. Let them know about dates. Dates? The wedding. Does this mean you're finally moving out of the house? <laughs> I still live here, and just like you, I know we can eat buffet. I'm staying as long as it takes. You'll be eating my buffet leftovers out the bin when you're homeless. I wouldn't worry about me being homeless. I'd worry about you smelling homeless. Enough! This is a joyous day. Oh, and here's the final amount of bills you owe. I take cash and backs. Don't make me chase you. Great. Those three little words... Let's do it! ...have now become the most expensive words of my life. Congratulations, Dean. Uh, oh, the engagement thing. Uh, yeah, it's complicated. Uh, we won't be doing anything just yet. You, know. you are moving out of the house, though, yeah? Do you think I still want to be here? Do you have any idea how much a deposit is nowadays? I am trying, you know. Dean. Trying means doing something with a view to fail. Foundations need to be made. Seeds need to be sown. You need to start digging. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. You need to start digging, son. Oh, I'll start digging. Digging your grave, bitch. Fight! Yes! Yeah. Enough! You almost killed me in labour. And you're both at it again! Kadeen's right. You need to make your own life with Nicola Dane. Because I can't support you and your sister forever. I plan on retiring at some point, while I'm still able to see my grandchildren and back myself. Because you and Kadeen won't do it, will you, Dane? It's time to learn to look after yourself. This engagement is a blessing for us all. Amen. You know what? Fine. I'm moving out. Two weeks from today, I'm gone. Engagement or not, I'm leaving. Right after I get dressed, I'm put some clothes up and get out of this stupid house. And people just pick up you. This Monday is becoming the worst day ever. Now I know why Bob Geldof hated them so much. How did I let Kadeen trick me into this? She'll now be sharing the news of my grand departure with Nikki. It's complicated when a woman you love makes friends with every other member of your family. Fiance. Yeah, uh, about that. Don't panic. We can talk about that later. So, the other thing is, I've kind of left home. I know. I heard from Kadeen. Kadeen! And before you ask... No, you can't move in with me. Why not? I've signed up for six months with Kitty and Emily at our place. But I'll help you look around at lunchtime. That'll be exciting with your budget. Gotta go. She's right. What the hell am I going to be able to afford on my own? Am I right, guys? Guys? It's what we call a character property with classic British architecture. That's what I have with it. Oh, it? <laughs> Get a wash for that, mate. Yeah, that's ammonia, that is. Yeah, you love it, mate. This one is up and coming. Part of a thriving metropolitan community. Gentrification. That's right. Come on, have a look around. 
that's rustic that is. This one is absolutely perfect for the single occupant. Open the window. Who's that there? Eh? Lovely. European design that is, yeah. Cool. Nice pastel colours there. <laughs> Our generation used to think having a nine to five would mean you could at least afford a home. Lies. I have to keep this mind numbingly dull excuse of any existence up so I can afford my own place. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle. Janet, three times winner slash sole entrant of the office bake off competition. Gary, here until his band takes off, destined to stay here until he's 55. Jerome, a man is 55 and lives alone. Look at this muffin muncher. He loves it. The thought of being chained to this desk for the rest of my life kills me. And how did Kat Slater not know she had twin? Shut up about that stupid show, Janet. That's Kerry, my new boss. Kerry's what you would call career-driven. She's a bitch when I do my day. Correction, I'm ferociously career-driven. I make men and women do what I want in the business world. I'm the... Alex Ferguson of Office Logistics. Because if you screw around with me, I will take off my shoe and I will throw it at your goddamn head. Then I'll stick my hair dryer to your balls until you're nothing but a pretty mute. She's a bitch when they say my name. Dang, my office. I'll need to cross-examine my senior account manager. If I'm trying to get my own place, I need to stay in Carrie's good books. Take a seat. I'm fine. Sit. That book is Fifty Shades of Grey. I hear you're on the move, Dane. Getting your own pad. A dirty little den of your own. How do you know that? I know everything, due to new European legislation on company emails. Like, I know you'll be needing a good reference. Shit. Uh... You seem like a smart, toned, young, urban man. And I know things haven't been easy for you here. Maybe you don't feel appreciated. Would you like to feel appreciated, Dane? Terry, I've told you, you can't speak to me like this. It's just not appropriate. Maybe I don't feel like your current level of productivity is appropriate. I want results. I want your figures to stay high. I want you to come up from behind and hit all targets on a daily basis. Because if you fail, I fail. And you are not going to fuck me right here in my office, right over my own desk. Unless I ask you to. Remember that kid at school who was horrible to everyone, pushed everyone around and called everyone names? That kid was Kerry. Kerry Fitzpatrick. It's okay to stay calm, she can smell fear. Remember, any sudden movements might set her off. Shit. Kerry, this is ridiculous. What are you gonna do, Dane? Quit. You need this job. You're stuck with me. I'm your Simon Cowell, and you are my Senita. Oh, my. Anaconda, oh, oh, my. Nicola, Nikki, it's not what it looks like. It is. Oh. It is what it looks like and more. Oh Nikki! <laughs> Nikki! We're here on the set of Garfield's News, where we've got an exclusive for you guys. 
Love Rat Dane has quite dramatically messed up our relationship yet again. That's right, viewers. What the hell is wrong with this guy? I'm going to go grab the ill-fated senior account manager and get a few exclusive words. <laughs> Hi, Jizz Biscotti, Gothis News. Dane, honey lamb, tell me about how you feel about these accusations. Wait, wait, wait. Get that camera out of my face. I've had enough of this shit. I'm not a cheater, Jizz. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to. Can't believe Nikki thinks I would cheat on her. Aren't relationships meant to be about trust? I trust she's not cheating on me, unless she is. I'm doing everything in my power to show that I love her, but she's not replying to my texts. Maybe I should tweet her. <sighs> this is bullshit. It's not like I've even done anything. I feel like I'm being victimized for the crimes of my fellow penis owners. No one prepares you for this kind of thing when you're entering manhood. Women, you just don't get it. Having a penis is like trying to raise a spoiled child, which I've always kept under control for the sake of my girlfriend, despite the path of the righteous penis being beset either side by temptation. Men, how many times have you been out in public with your penis and on seeing a vagina that it likes, it immediately starts misbehaving? Like, daddy, daddy, I want it for myself. And you have to start giving it some dick discipline but with discretion. I haven't got enough money to afford that kind of vagina right now. Wait until we get home. There's plenty of free vagina there. There's no excuse for this behavior. My penis has been firmly linked to the same vagina for a long time. For some reason, I just can't seem to win. Only halfway through day one of the rest of my life. Homeless and single. I didn't think you could get any more pathetic. Have you spoken to Nicola? Oh, speaking to Nicola. Nikki? No, she won't speak to you, though. Nikki! Um, Nikki! Uh, Nikki. Um. Nikki. <laughs> Nikki. 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 Oh. <laughs> yes. Where did she go? <gasps> what are you doing? I'm oh, just planning my night out. It's gonna be a big one. So <laughs> Dean, what are you doing to me? Are you going out with Nicola? Tell me. That's for me to know, and you, never to find out. No, no, no never. No. no, no. Dean! Come in here, please. Oh, you're in trouble. 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 My sister relishes so much in my woes, she's giving them their own theme song. You'll be in trouble when that silverback gorilla asks for its hair back. Daddy! Dane's fashion shaming again! As if you're ashamed! No, please, Dean. Maybe it's good news. Maybe my Amazon package arrived. What's this I'm hearing from your sister? About you cheating on Nicola? I didn't cheat. Why is it? Not Amazon, then. Let me tell you a little something, Dane. In my day, we realized that when it come to love, we didn't have a choice. That's the problem with you kids. You're spoiled for choice. You have your Facebook statuses set on complicated. But where's the complication, Dean? Either you want somebody or you don't. When I met your mother, I made my intentions clear. What was it like, Daddy? Meeting Mum? You see a woman that interested you? and you would approach her like a man. That's how I met your mother. I didn't poke at her or swipe at her dame. I would just ask her for a dance. We didn't ping, we just spoke. We got to know each other. And once I knew her, I made a decision. A decision to be with just her. That's what you're lacking, son. Communication. And you can't spell communication without you and I. You and I. Your generation wants everything, but can't make an actual decision. Like a fat child at a cake sale. 
You want it all. What the hell is wrong with you? Ah! If you think a nice girl like that's gonna wait around for you to grow up... It's nothing, Mother. I've got it under control. You better not be messing around, my boy. Nothing happened! That's not what Kadeen tells me. My only son getting engaged. It's meant to be the happiest day of my life. Well, the real question is, why are you allowing the snitch to live in your home? And if she knows everything, why doesn't she know that a meal suitable for two shouldn't be eaten alone? Why don't you know how to make one girl happy? And why don't you know that you should be eaten out of a dog bowl? Why don't you know? Enough! Dane, where are you learning all this behaviour from? Hmm? Did I raise an Ike Turner? I'm not having you going out there sleeping around so the photograph album of my grandchildren looks like the Baby Gap advert! Who's Ike Turner? Chris Brown, 40 years ago. Could you all just stay out of my business, please? This is ridiculous. I hate not being able to talk to Nicola. I need to see Stefan. Just wish I didn't have to meet him here. I need to talk to you. Go on, my son. I'm not bowing at you, and I'm not your son, Stefan. Now listen. If you could all get into your positions, please. Let us raise up and salute the sun. I'm so tired of this hype about partners and choosing and relationships. Shh. And now to Downward Dog. So when you say people, you mean your mother? Yes, of course. I'm just tired of being forced to define myself by my relationship. Just because I'm with someone doesn't mean I can't have a life of my own, does it? And now to Happy Baby Pose. What I'm hearing is your ego. Why are you so afraid to be vulnerable, fam? Are you even listening? I don't want to be with Nikki because I've run out of things to do in my own life. I don't want to end up horny and angry like Kerry. I don't want to be hungry, Stefan. Well, the solution is simple. Do you love her? Of course I do, but that's not the point. And now to Cobra Pose. Of course it's the point. Love is the answer. Let go of your inner caveman. Connect with the soul, rather. How much more soul do you want me to be? I'm here doing yoga. Ryan Giggs did yoga. Can't get more bossed than Giggsy. Just please take your conversation elsewhere. Oh, for fuck. Take a look at yourselves. You're all here unclogging your chakras before you check your yoga apps, you juice your dinner, and talk some bollocks about kale. It's always about fucking kale. How much kale have you had today? And you? Oh. I noticed no Asians in this class. They invented yoga, by the way. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going to find her. Well, do you know where she is? I have no idea, Stefan. You know I can see that guy's testicles through his lycra. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You are joking. Kadeen! It's already bad enough for a relationship that Nikki doesn't trust me in. Do I know these guys? What the hell? Is she? Would she? Now, I'm well aware that a girl as beautiful and talented as Nikki is going to be desired by many men. Now, I'm not saying that I'm punching above my weight, but if we're using boxing analogies, then Nikki's definitely a title shot. And I have to defend the belt from contenders on a regular basis. And that's what love is. Light sparring, next thing you know, you're hooked. And sometimes, if you don't defend yourself, you can get knocked the fuck out. Now I've got to let Nikki know that she's my undisputed. Shit. Some advice? If you want a lady to be your sparring partner in life, you're probably going to need a ring. All right, scum. Why are you even here? <laughs> Night end early when the bounce will smite your breath. Cleared all the men out of the place? You done? Nicola! Nicola! Can you shut up? You're gonna wake the neighbours for God's sake. Nikki, uh, I, uh. Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm not having an affair with my boss. I... Ow! I know that. Really? In a glass fronted office at the exact time that you arranged to meet me. Even you're not that stupid. 
Nick, I... No, Dane. You need to step up and take control of your life. Nick, about that marriage proposal. <laughs> Forget about that. I'm surprised you even remember. I meant it. This is me stepping up and making decisions. I want to marry you. I'll think about it. Okay, because we could... Okay. We'd have to save money. You'd have to stay with your parents until we can afford to do this. Well, can't I move in here? No. Fine. I'll have to speak to mum and dad, though. Looks like I'm going back to the loving bosom of my family. Why can't I get rid of you? I don't know why people feel they need to talk about their relationships all the time. Maybe because they want to feel important. That's the thing. In an age of social networks, we all want to be something to everyone. But I'd rather be everything to someone. Get a waft of that, mate. Yeah, that's ammonia, that is.